हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल प्लीज बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड आल्सो टू शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वी आर आल्सो प्लानिंग टू ऑर्गेनाइज फ्यू फ्री वेयर वी कैन आंसर योर क्वेश्चंस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टूडेज टॉपिक टूडेज टॉपिक इज ब्लाइंडिंग एंड मास्किंग इन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल इट्स वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस इन द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स लाइक the participants or the researchers who are conducting the research they are masked what do you mean by masked they means that means that they don't know the treatment they don't know about treatment so if there is a placebo or a new treatment they don't know which treatment is going to which patient so it can be of many types like blinding most popularly single blind double blind or there are triple samples also the most common is double blind but before that we will try to understand that what is single blind you know so single blind is as in the name is suggesting only single one you know one so this here the participants or you can say the patients patients or subjects those are participating in the trial they are kept blinded so they don't know it's like their eyes are folded so they don't know which treatment they are they are getting into however the researcher the investigator you can say or in other words you can say the doctor they know what do you mean by they know that suppose there are two treatment groups one is placebo that is you can say treatment group a another treatment group is new drug so this may be a b group so this patient they that want me knowing that am i getting placebo or am i getting new drug so this patient is not knowing however this researcher or doctor they will be knowing that okay this um, patient is getting either a placebo or a new drug so where this type single blind is applied is a mostly when double blind is not possible so maybe example the drug is already you know approved and they are doctors are testing it for effectiveness or maybe a four, phase 4 trial a vaccine trial there can be that patient is not knowing and you know and doctor is knowing so why blinding and masking is applied that is the biggest question is to avoid a bias so just imagine if patient know they can misinterpret it because they there is a placebo effect you know patient will see that maybe oh i am getting a new drug if he is knowing that i am getting new drug by default he will start you know he can miss uh, you know interpret it is that oh i am getting better i am getting better if he may be knowing that uh, i am get in a placebo grip by default his you know observations won't be correct he may start by himself saying that no i am not feeling better so to reduce the biasness to achieve the correct result uh, you know blinding is applied in a clinical trial so single you know blind is that means one patient is blinded or you can say subject research participant so these terms you know they are in research participants and out of these this is the best term participants so uh, this these all three terms are used interchangeable so patient they don't know but the researchers or investigators they know or you can say the doctors how about double blind you know double blind is where neither the doctor nor the patient both they don't know this person also don't know patient also don't know and mostly all your phase 1 2 phase 3 trials all the randomized controlled trial you know rct randomized control randomized control trial they are double blind we are the both neither the research participant nor the investigators they are knowing they are in group so rct double blind data is double blind data is most most accepted by uh, you know regulatory bodies if you want to uh, you wanted that your trial data should be trusted by the regulatory the double blind one is the most trusted worthy double blind clinical trials they are also considered gold standard so this is most commonly used when you are in phase 2 phase 3 where neither the research participants 
nor the research experimenter you can say know what what actual treatment is if we are carrying our previous example is if there is a placebo group that is treatment arm a and there is a new drug there is it is a treatment arm b so neither this investigator or doctor or as you can say best study team right nor the patient they will be knowing in which group patient is falling so how they are divided into any treatment group by randomization so randomization is flip of your coin just like that head means you are in a placebo tail maybe you are in a uh, you know new drug group so this is mostly computerized program we will talk about randomization in some other video but in a fundamental if you want to keep in mind it is a flipping of a coin is a randomization so double blind in nutshell neither the patient nor the doctor they are knowing in which treatment group the participant is so if we wanted to make a comparison of of both of these if you so suppose here is a doctor here is a patient so in double blind both of them they don't know neither the researcher nor the participant know the treatment groups you know so they are as i told you there are suppose a and b a, a is just consider assume placebo b is new drug so both of them they are unaware of it but a single blind you are doctor they know that patient. doctor will be knowing that patient is taking placebo or a new drug but your patient is not knowing and to recap why it is done it is done to avoid the bias in a clinical trials right and most commonly accepted data is double blind clinical trial data so i hope you find this short video very interesting i will also like you to request that if you wanted to learn um, you know how to make a career in a clinical trials or clinical research go and observe our free course on a uh, icgcp so mm -hmm. you will find in a playlist and you will find it quite helping thank you so much